Welcome back to Matt Made It, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. In my last few videos, I've been showing off my new laser engraver, the 10 watt longer Ray 5. One of the first projects I did was this little Christmas decoration. And it's been a lot of fun playing with that machine and learning how to use it over the last few weeks. I've done a few more little projects like this, and I started thinking, I already have a machine that can cut shapes out of thin plywood. I have VCarve Pro, and I have a Onefinity CNC machine that could make really short work of something like this. Now I know my Onefinity is capable of cutting out a shape like this, but my question is, will it look this good? Will I get the same kind of detail I get from the laser from the CNC machine? Obviously the laser cuts with a tiny little laser beam, so it really gets into tight spaces and can make some really delicate detail that I'm not sure the CNC machine is capable of. The smallest straight cutting bit I have from my CNC is 1 8 of an inch, and that's not gonna get me anywhere near the detail I can get with the laser. I do have a 15 degree V bit, and if I focus on that, you can see that's uh, pretty pointy, pretty small on the end. And while it may be very small right on the tip, by the time you get a quarter inch or so deep into a carve with this, the bit starts to widen out, and it gets wider because it is a V bit, it's not a straight bit which means when it cuts this way, the walls of the cut are gonna have some slope to them and not be perfectly straight up and down like the laser. And when you have a detail in a project like this, like up here at the top of the manger, those four little triangles, those are all supposed to line up and be a hole completely through all four pieces. So when I cut these on the CNC with that 15 degree V bit, I don't think I'll get the same detail like I have here on the laser cut example. So my guess is on a project like this anyway, the laser is gonna have the advantage on the overall look of the finished product and the detail it has. That's my guess anyway, but you don't really know until you try it. So that's what I'm gonna to do today. I'm gonna to make two more of these, one on the laser, one on the CNC, and see which one looks best. Now I have that file saved to cut out on the laser, but I'm not gonna use that file. I'm gonna start from scratch on each machine and see which one's quicker to do the design on and the cutout and get to a final product. So we'll see which one of those processes is faster. And then of course, we'll look at the end result and see which one looks better, which is really what matters. I'll be cutting the nativities out of these scrap pieces of plywood, which are too small to cut out the original design. But if I resize this correctly, I can get all four pieces I need for this out of one of these pieces of wood. So I'm going to do the first one in V-Carve and cut it out on the CNC. I'm just going to turn the camera off so I can concentrate on what I'm doing, get it done, and then I'll let you know how long it took. So I will see you right back here when that's done. So the CNC version of the little nativity is done, and I have to say I'm not too impressed with it. The total time was 30 minutes and 23 seconds, and that included everything from turning the CNC on until the carve was completed. There were a few open vectors I had to deal with, and then grouping and ungrouping and kind of moving everything around. It just takes a little bit of time. But the carve itself only took about two and a half minutes. So once you get the design stuff out of the way and you get to the point where I was at to actually do the carve, you can knock out a bunch of these really quick. But when it's all said and done, this is what you're left with. As you can see overall, you just lose a lot of the detail. If you compare this to the original, like I said, in general, the detail just isn't there. There's also gonna be some sanding and some cleanup on this before it can be glued together. So in the end, after about a half hour on the CNC machine, I'll have a Christmas tree ornament that might look okay hanging at the top of the tree, but it's not something I'd want anyone to look too closely at. All right, I'm gonna reset the stopwatch, fire up light burn, and see what the laser can do for us. So evidently my light burn trial has expired, so I'll go ahead and buy light burn and then I'll get started on this. So I had a bit of an issue yesterday trying to buy light burn. It took a few tries before the purchase went through, and then when it finally did go through, it took them about three hours to give me my activation code. So it's the next day, I'm going to continue on with this experiment and see how long it takes me to produce this little nativity scene with light burn and the laser. All right guys, so the laser cut version of this small nativity is done. Just as a reminder, here is what the CNC version of that little nativity looks like. And this is what the laser cut version of it looks like. And I think this laser cut one is the clear winner, no question about it. Even comparing the big one to the small one, using the laser, you don't lose any of the detail in these. It really looks exactly the same, just smaller. 
So how long did it take to cut this out on the laser? Well, from firing up light burn to having the whole thing completely cut out was about 16 minutes. So that's about half the time it took on the CNC and I'm much more familiar with the VCAR software than I am with Lightburn. I cut this out at full power, running the laser at 300 millimeters a minute. And at that speed, it took seven minutes to cut this out. So nearly half of my total time was actually cutting out the pieces and cutting these out took about three times longer than it did on the CNC machine. So yeah, it took three times longer to cut it out on the laser than the CNC, but when you compare the two, that doesn't really matter because the laser cut one I'll actually use and this one cut on the CNC, it's going in the trash. So I think this little test was a great reminder to use the right tool for the job. If you want to cut a piece out of wood with some fine detail or do some engraving, the laser is the way to go. But if you want to carve something like this Makita sign or this little frog here, it's a pretty cool little guy, then the CNC machine is going to be your best bet. So I was going to end the video right there, but as I was editing, it really felt incomplete. And I felt I was doing a disservice to the CNC machine. So I fired up VCarve again with the intention of creating a file that I could cut on the CNC machine that would look as good as the ones I cut on the laser. So in VCarve, I stacked up the four vectors it takes to make this and combined them into one vector and I carved this. So I made a VCarve toolpath using that same 15 degree V bit and I just set the flat depth to be deep enough to completely cut through this material. And then I switched to a 1 8 inch straight bit to cut the piece out and cut the little hole up here at the top. And this would make a great ornament for a Christmas tree because you have the nice detail and it's really lightweight. I made another tool path using a 60 degree V bit with a flat depth of 0.15 inch. And I carved that in a piece of half inch pine I had and this was the result. I just painted in the V-carved area, gave it a nice sanding, and it really makes the detail of the piece stand out. And this is wide enough to stand up on its own, so this would be a nice decoration to put on a shelf somewhere. And if you're going to use it that way, it'd be very easy in the software to just remove this little loop at the top, so the roof just comes to a peak. So I took these extra steps because I didn't want to end this video implying that you couldn't make a project that looked like this on the CNC machine. You can get a similar look, you just have to change the design a little bit so it works on the CNC. So I hope that shows you that no matter which machine you have, you can make projects like this. You just have to use your machine how it was intended to be used. Well, that's going to be it for today. Please remember to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you get notified when new videos come out. And check out the affiliate links below. They don't cost you anything, but using them is a great way to financially support the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.